Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video. In today's video we're going to be checking out the all new Emacs FPV Easy Pilot Pro. Notice I said pro. This is the pro combo for any beginner pilot, any son or daughter or friend or foe that wants to get in the air FPV style nice and quick. You're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. Let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. One thing I want to say though is once we open this box, I want to see, I'm curious how long, how much work and how much knowledge do I need to go from opening this box to getting in the air? Because that's what this is all about. Let's find out. We're going to find out right here, right now. So, comes in a sickle box. Pop the top. Ooh. I'm excited. All right, so you get some sweet stickers, couple cards. This is a QR code if you need some help. So there's our drone right there. That is the Easy Pilot Pro. Look at that guy. That is far more robust than the first one. So much stronger and so much better. It is awesome for a beginner or if maybe you are a pro and you just love these smaller guys. This guy is going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be strong. Let's see what else we get just so we know what's in the box. If you're considering getting one of these or just want to know what does it take to get started. You need your quadcopter. You're going to need your radio. Boom. That, ooh. Dang, that's a fresh old radio, huh? Wow, that's like a matte gray. Ooh, that feels good. Wow. This is a lot to get for the price. I think this thing is about 239 bucks, and you're getting a lot. This feels good. We've got buttons, power. It's already got a light right there, so she's charged. We've got our switches, two position, two, three, three, and our gimbals. Wow, that is nice. And you've got your hook. This is if you have a lanyard. Some guys like to put a neck lanyard on. You hook it, it hangs, you do your deal. And when you're ready to grab, you grab. Inside of this foam hidden right here is a battery charger. And this is just a regular old USB. And you've got six spots to charge your batteries all at the same time. All right, we've got a cable right here. Maybe some type of uh, charging cable. We'll find out here in a minute. And then our gaggles. Whoo! All right, so they are also a matte gray with the light and dark gray for matching. Ooh, look at that. Holy cow, those are sharp looking. Whoo! Now, I will tell you right here in the bottom is a nice little thread spot, and that is the same one that would fit on any camera holder. If you have, hold on, if you have any type of tripod and you can buy the one that they make for it, but look at that, that is that same screw right there. You just simply pop that on and twist it, and there you go. Now obviously you wouldn't see that, you would just lock it down tight. Now, you wouldn't do that with the goggles. You would remove the goggle portion, just like I did there, okay? Tell me that's not nice, it's magnetic. You would just remove the goggle portion, set that aside, and then now I've got my tripod, I've got my screen, I can watch, I can buy two of these, be in the goggles while my buddy watches, you know, whatever you got in mind, it's got the funk to do it. You do not have a built-in DVR. What that means is, is while you're flying, you press a button and you can record your flying, and then you get to share it on YouTube and all these other things. This does not have that built-in, and it's for a reason. They didn't forget. They didn't put it in because this is the beginner version this is the budget version to get you in the sky at a cheaper price and have more stuff what matters to a beginner that is what they tried to think about and tried to put into this for the price that they gave you okay so let's connect this back wow that was hard <laughs> okay and inside of here we've got some extra propellers for our easy pilot pro 
We've got our goggle antennas, and then we've got an Allen key, which I can only imagine is to get into the goggles or the radio or, or whatever, whatever you got going on. So that is what comes in the box. We've got some red caps here, and what that's going to be for, if you are unsure, when you go to travel and you pack up your goggles, you're not going to put them in the case with the antennas on. You might break those. So you'll take these off depending on your carry bag. Maybe you'll throw it in a book bag, whatever. You can use these red caps, pop them on, keep everything nice and safe while you travel to the field. And then when it's time to fly, you'll pop those off and you'll twist these on. And this is just a 5.8 megahertz antenna. So what you can do if you want to, is you can get online, get on to one of these stores and purchase upgraded antennas. But that's not what this kit's about. This kit is about saving money and getting in the air nice and easy. <laughs> All right, so you've got a nice Emacs strap. That's too tight, but hey. Ow. Oh, you put the whole nose in there. I think you put your whole nose in there. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh, these slide out depending on your face. Get out of town. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. And then you got the clips to suck it in. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> These are wicked. Okay, so I want to go over more features, but what's very important to me is how quick, how easy can I get in the air? I haven't touched anything. All I did was put on my antennas. I do want to show you the goggles do adjust, so you're able to pop this out just like that and you can get the length that works for you. So I've put it right there, and now I can pop these on, boom. And that's what feels comfortable to me. You would do what works for you. You see what I'm saying? So I don't know, maybe you're very young, you need it closer, maybe you're older, you need it further. Whatever works for you, that's what you do. All right, pilots, so I have cracked open the box. I have my Easy Pilot Pro quadcopter. I've got my Emacs radio and I've got my Emacs goggles. This also doubles as a screen as you know, but I want to fly FPV and I'm curious from opening the box, laying it out on the table to flying around the house or jumping outside and trying this thing out, I'm curious what's it going to take. I am an experienced pilot, so if there's issues, I'll know what to do, hopefully. If you're not how easy is this? Because that's what this is all about. That's even the name of the combo. It's called the Easy Pilot. How easy is it? So we're going to find out. Normally what I would do if I was going to fly my gear, I would power up my radio. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. That was easy. Let's power up my goggles because that's the next thing I would do. So we've got buttons on the sides here. I'm going to assume it's this power one. Oh, look at that Emacs powered right up. There we are. You can see the snow. That lets me know I'm on an analog channel. I don't know which one. I would imagine as an Easy Pilot Pro kit that this guy is already set to that channel. Hopefully it is. And I'm going to power up my quadcopter. If you've never done this, you just take your plug from your drone and you take your plug from your battery and you plug them in. started right up. So let's see what we got and uh -huh, video. <laughs> Hello pilots. <laughs> Look at that man. So all right. <laughs> so I can imagine with my goggles being set to the correct channel to my drone, I can only imagine that my radio is also set. Uh, one of these switches must turn it on. Okay, there's our arm switch. All right, let's try this puppy out, huh? Well, I don't think I need the goggles. Oh gosh, that is, that's an impressively nice picture, but I'm not going to wear the goggles. This is just my bench. Let's see. I'm flying. 
I am flying first day on the job. <laughs> pilot! Easy pilot proof! Hey! Hey, this thing feels nice. Get up in that camera. What's up now? Who's your daddy? Man, this thing is sweet! I could fly this all day, let's land, let, land, landed just like that. So what did that take me? I powered everything up and I armed the quad. The only thing that I'd have to say you must figure out is your switches. What do your switches do? Which ones are for which? Quick overview of your switches. You've got your beeper. You've got your flip over after crash, AKA turtle mode. You've got your disarm and your arm, and then you've got your switch of your style of flight. So you've got angle, middle will be horizon, bottom will be acro. If you wanna do flips or rolls, this will be the acro. You'll need to come all the way forward, flip, just like that. And I would imagine that card that the quad blew on the floor, which has a QR code on it, all you would have to do is scan that and it would let you know the instructions. It'll pull them right up, probably right off their website. Let's go ahead and power this down so I don't burn up my battery. So I have unplugged my battery. This is a one cell 450 milliamp hour. Uh, if you know anything about that, it's a decent pack. I am going to simply just plug this in and then I'm gonna plug this in to get a charge going. I mean, look at this quadcopter. So if you're familiar with the Tiny Hawk line, maybe you're not, maybe you are, the previous drones that are very similar to this, Emacs has been doing this for some time now. Their previous drones, we were having issues with these prop guard ribs. They were breaking because this was not strong enough. And then there was issues with the camera either coming loose or back before it was in a fixed state where you could not adjust your camera angle. So this quadcopter here has the two screws on the side. It's hard screwed, one and two, and then you can adjust your angle right here. Radio is going to rock just a simple 18650. That's very nice. Now, could I imagine that I could charge with this plug? Let's find out. So there you go. I've got a red light indicating charging. You may not have an 18650 battery charger, or maybe you don't have spare batteries. I mean, if you do, they're great. But if you don't, you can just use the included cable to go ahead and charge this radio without any extra work. Wow, pilots, this is very impressive. For $239.99, you are getting everything you need to get in the sky. If I had to make one recommendation, I would say definitely buy some extra batteries so that way you're not uh, limited to the one pack that it comes with. You'll be able to charge a few, fly a few while those are charging, get back in the air and just keep on rocking and rolling. Also, spare propellers would be nice. It did come with a set uh, when I flew the quadcopter. It did blow them away. That little guy's got some power. This is an impressive little package. $239.99. You saw how easy it was. I turned on, turned on, turned on, armed, and flew. Wow. Within 60 seconds, I was in the air. I could maybe even say within 30 seconds, I was in the air. I'm excited. I want to show you guys the footage. So I'm going to go ahead and fly with these goggles. I'm going to turn mine on for a DVR recording so you can see what it flies like and really check this thing out. I hope that you guys are excited as I am about simplifying the hobby. All right, pilots. I hope that if you were a beginner and you were unsure, you no longer are. I hope that you'll go get yourself your own Easy Pilot Pro kit. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.